Welcome to Grumpy Game Reviews. Today I'm venturing way back to the Stone Age and trying Dawn of Man so you don't have to. Now, before we dig deep into the Neolithic nitty gritty, let's get a quick overview. Dawn of Man lets you experience the joy of building a civilization from scratch. Starting with a few brave souls armed with nothing but loincloths and a strong will to survive. At first, you'll be getting mauled by scary saber tusks with nothing but rocks and stick to defend yourself. But by the end, those feisty felines will be avoiding your brave warriors as you dominate your surroundings. As you progress through time, you'll find new technologies that make your hairy ancestors feel like Einstein with a beard. Hello. From Stone Age to Iron Age, you'll be juggling resource management, expansion and defending your village from raiders. The technology tree is a fairly unique one as it rewards you for the tech points for reaching certain milestones like building 10 huts, hunting 20 bisons or brewing your first pint of ale. Now let's talk about the visuals. The developers did a mammoth job with the graphics on Dawn of Man. The landscapes are breathtaking, the animals look incredibly realistic and the changing seasons make you feel like a true time travelling paleontologist. I almost expected Jeff Goldblum to pop up at the end. The game is really engaging and even though you spend most of your time fast forwarding your braves who walk slower than a giant sloth, it's incredibly easy to get lost in it as you keep telling yourself, just 10 more minutes. In a nutshell, Dawn of Man is a stone age simulation that will make you laugh, cry and question your hunting skills. It's a game that takes you on an epic journey through the trials and tribulations of your ancestors. And let me tell you, surviving prehistoric chaos has never been so much fun. Believe it or not, my only criticism is that I want more content. Usually I'm not a fan of buying DLCs, but if the developers brought one out I'd be happy to trade some of my goats and cattle for a few more scenarios and tech advances. All being said, I give Dawn of Man an 8 out of 10. It's a fun spin on a city builder civilization type game. So that's all from me, stay grumpy and keep on gaming.